we're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. That... Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Dumb. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. Hey, it true the Don slipped Carla the bump, not you? Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Less than Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Forget about them. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong thing. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morel's sinking ship. We bump off the right engine, the rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, boobs, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom.
Bluff delivered earlier this year. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country. This is a great national crusade. A crusade to destroy forced idleness, which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Our attack upon these enemies must be without stint and without discrimination. No sectional, no political distinctions can be permitted. It must, however, be recognized and I know you will recognize it, that when an enterprise of this character is extended over more than 3,100 counties throughout the nation, there may be occasional instances of inefficiency, bad management, or misuse of funds. When cases of that kind occur, there will be those... Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? Terrence! You got an invite too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be You don't be look like a guy with an invite. Uh, I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. A sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head did something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. I know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen them. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth, like eggs and coffee. Good, Tom. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. Got us looking out for him. Hey. You almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. 
I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but uh, if I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. <laughs> you pay! <laughs> Jesus! Jesus! <laughs>
John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son Billy left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? <laughs> 